Today's date is Monday, March 16th, 2020. If you are looking for more updated information on what the CDC has to say about pregnancy and the COVID-19 virus, please check out my playlist and on that playlist, which I will link in the description below, I'm going to have the most updated videos at the very top to make it easier for you. So in this video, I'm providing information directly from cdc.gov, that is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, um, regarding the topic of COVID-19 and pregnancy. I'm not adding in any of my own opinions or speculations. I'm strictly just repeating and sharing the information that is on their website available to all of us. I will link the article down below in the description if you'd like to read it for yourself, but the purpose of this video is to take the information that's in written word and just uh, provide it to everyone in a video format, in an audio format because as we know, a lot of us prefer, myself included, prefer to consume our content in more of an audio format. So as I said, today's date is Monday, March 16th, 2020. Um, this website from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention does not give a date on the article as to when it was last updated. I will be keeping an eye on this website um, as well as all of the other websites that have to do with coronavirus and pregnancy, so information from the World Health Organization, the UN, and different um, obstetrician and gynecology societies and organizations from around the world because I myself am pregnant and so I want to be up to date on this information and also be able to provide you guys with the most up to date information. So as I said, I'm creating a playlist. So if you want the most updated information, check out the playlist. Maybe there might be multiple playlists and I'll put the most updated information at the top. So I have to say that in this article from the CDC, um, there is not a lot of information in here. Mainly what the article is saying is that we really just don't know anything right now. Um, so just a heads up if you are going to watch this entire video, that's pretty much what the CDC is saying. But I'm going to go ahead and pretty much just read this for you guys word for word to let you know exactly what the CDC is saying about coronavirus, COVID-19, and pregnancy. COVID-19 is a new disease and we are still learning how it spreads, the severity of illnesses it causes, and to what extent it might spread in the United States. So when it comes to pregnant women, they have a few questions that they have answered. So the first few questions are, what is the risk to preg pregnant women of getting COVID-19? Is it easier for pregnant women to become ill with the disease? If they become infected, will they be more sick than other people? The answer that they provide is, we do not currently know if pregnant women have a greater chance of getting sick from COVID-19 than the general public, nor whether they are more likely to have serious illness as a result. Pregnant women experience changes in their bodies that may increase their risks for, of some infections. With viruses from the same family as COVID-19 and other viral respiratory infections such as influenza, women have had a higher risk of developing severe illness. It is always important for pregnant women to protect themselves from illnesses. So the next question is, how can pregnant women protect themselves from getting COVID-19? The answer that they have given is, pregnant women should do the same things as the general public to avoid infection. You can help stop the spread of COVID-19 by taking these actions. Cover your cough using your elbow is a good technique. Avoid people who are sick. Clean your hands often using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. The next question is, can COVID-19 cause problems for a pregnancy? And their answer is, we do not know at this time if COVID-19 would cause problems during pregnancy or affect the health of the baby after birth. Can COVID-19 be passed from a pregnant woman to the fetus or newborn? Their answer for this question is, we still do not know if a pregnant woman with COVID-19 can pass the virus that causes COVID-19 to her fetus or baby during pregnancy or delivery. No infants born to mothers with COVID-19 have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. In these cases, which, is, which are a small number, the virus was not found in samples of amniotic fluid or breast milk. 
And the last question that they have given and answered is, if a pregnant woman has COVID-19 during pregnancy, will it hurt the baby? And again, their answer is, we do not know at this time what, if any, risk is posed to infants of a pregnant woman who has COVID-19. There have been a small number of reported problems with pregnancy or delivery, for example, preterm birth, in babies born to mothers who tested positive for COVID-19 during their pregnancy. However, it is not clear that these outcomes were related to maternal infection. So that is really all that the cdc.gov website has to say right now about the coronavirus, COVID-19, and pregnancy. As we learn more about the coronavirus and pregnancy, and as the CDC updates their information, I will also create updated videos for you guys to give you the most updated information that I can. I know that this um, website, the cdc.gov, has not really provided much information at all. It's basically just saying that they don't really know anything, which is very true. This is a brand new, um, brand new virus that humans have never really been exposed to before, so we can't really speculate and just say that we know what's going to happen. Could Anything could happen. Um, but there are other organizations, like I was saying, there's different um, gynecologists and obstetrician organizations from around the world that also have provided information online, and they seem to have a little bit more information to give. So I'm going to add uh, videos about what those organizations are saying as well to these playlists that I am creating. So if you are interested in that, please, you know, check out the playlist and follow along. I'm not going to add in any of my own speculation or opinion or anything like that because I feel like that is really not what is needed right now. It's better for us to just spread what is actually known and what we are actually um, receiving from like re reputable resources like the UN, the World Health Organization, the CDC, and um, organizations like that. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!